All right, welcome. And today we're going to talk about how to get a uh, end of the year book, uh, memory book for your students, or maybe you just want a, a slideshow and a keynote, or put pictures in a uh, pages document. And you can do so many things with that: either create a presentation, create a movie, or even uh, print these pictures out in a PDF. Uh, totally up to you. But what you want to do is uh, start out. We're going to use the Photos app, and uh, I was already in it, but uh, if you don't know what it looks like, here's the Photos app right here, and I'm going to use this little cursor on the left-hand side. I'm going to go into my camera roll, and you can see that I've got you know a hodgepodge of uh, pictures and a couple videos, but mostly pictures. Now, if you don't have facial recognition turned on, I suggest that you enable that feature, and uh, how you do that is you tap on a photo, Here's one of my lovely wife, and I'm going to swipe up, and it notices that she's people. There you go. And I want to add a name to this, and it recognizes her in all of these photos. And you can see that it recognizes everyone else. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and tap on Add Name up the top, and let's, let's actually cancel that. And show you right up here, Add Name is where I was at. And I'm going to just type in Nikki. And we'll just tap on that. And it says, this person is now named Nikki. And what you can do is, if you have a lot of pictures on your iPad, you can click on this blue button in the upper right, tap on that, and you can confirm additional photos. Now, if there's no additional photos to be had, that's fine. Now, the iPad doesn't necessarily grab all of the photos sometimes. Uh, for instance, if I was to go back into my faces, Let's go back into albums here. There we go, people and places down at the bottom. Sometimes you have to hit the uh, albums button at the bottom a couple times to get to where you wanna go. But you can see that I've got all these people named. And if I tap on, let's say Noah, and I click on show more over here, I can see all these photos, but I know that that's not all the photos of him. Uh, but for the time being, I'm gonna go with that. Uh, in any instance, I'm going to go in and select, and I'm just going to tap on all the individual pictures of Noah. And I want to add that to a, uh, an album. I want to create an album. So I'm going to go to the share arrow up here, the share arrow. It's a funny word, but I'm going to tap on add to album. I'm going to tap on that. I'm going to create a new album right here. And I'm going to just type in Noah. And let's quickly do that for the rest of these. Need to hit select first. Okay. Add to album. We'll just do one more here. And like I said, it doesn't recognize all of hers either on here. I'm going to hit the share arrow and create an album. New album. Turn off the Save. So I've got three albums that's good enough to get going here. Uh, if I want to add other pictures that I know that is missing out of that, I'm going to tap on the album button down here to get back to where I want to go. Let's go into camera roll. I can select any pictures that were missing of Anna. And uh, same thing for the others. And then I can add to up here to that folder. Add to Anna. So now I've got more pictures of her in there. And uh, we can uh, select, get a couple more of her in there. Oh, that was a screenshot. That one is not, that one is not. Add to Anna. All right, continuing on, we're gonna move on into Keynote. Now I'm gonna go into Keynote, and I've already got it open down here. And let's actually start a new presentation. I'm gonna tap on presentation. So here's Keynote at a glance when you first open it up. I'm gonna hit the plus sign up here to make a new presentation. You can do standard or wide. Let's choose standard in this case. I'm gonna choose white. 
plain white. I tap on this uh, comment box or this text box and delete these. I just want plain. And then on the lower left, I'm going to tap on the plus sign and just add plain slides. Blank slides, rather. And depending upon how many students you have, that's uh, totally up to you. What you want, it depends on what you're doing as well. Uh, in this particular case, I'm uh, creating this tutorial for a teacher who wants to print off pictures that she's actually going to cut out and paste into a memory book of the student work. So in this uh, in this particular case, each uh, slide will be, let's say, represent a student. So on here, I'm going to tap on the uh, plus sign right up here, and I'm going to add a photo or video. And lo and behold, as I look in here, there's Anna, there's Leah. There's Noah. I have all of these other like photo stream albums. You probably won't have that on yours. Um, uh, whether you not turn that on or off, I don't know. But uh, it doesn't matter for me. I'm just going to write on down the line, and I can just tap on these and insert them as I see fi uh, fit. Resize them. But I'm just going to put one on a page for now, just for the sake of time. You get the idea. Let's scroll down to Leah. Let's choose one of my favorite ones of her. That's probably one of my favorite ones. All right, and you can put these in any order that you want. And let's put in one for Noah. Let's see, photo or video. And scroll down. There's Noah, aka Bubba. This is probably one of my favorite ones of Noah. Resize that. When I'm all said and done, I can export this. Now what I'm going to do is up in the upper right hand corner, there's this triple dot button thing. I'm going to tap on that. That's the technical term for it. Uh, it's, it's your menu. And I want to export this. So right here, I'm going to hit export. And magically, I see this PDF format. So I'm going to tap on PDF. Now you can uh, create PDF, but uh, you know that's, it's already going to create a PDF. I'm going to send it to my Google Drive, which then you can download to your computer. And uh, look at this, I'm already signed in to my Google Drive. I hit select folder underneath that, tap on my drive. You can create a new folder if you wish, and that's up here on the right. Uh, if you just want to save it in the, you can pick any one of these folders or just save it in your open Google Drive, uh, that's fine. I'm actually going to save this in, let's say, end of the year. I created a folder for end of the year. Tap on that. I click on save here and then upload. And then that I've got a nice PDF. I can send that to the copy center if I wish, uh, print it out at home, print it out at school, whatever. Uh, you get the idea, uh, then it's ready to go. With that said, uh, I'm going to end here. Uh, there's other export options that you can do from Keynote. Uh, you can add music to this Keynote and uh, add all sorts of transitions and everything. I think if you're going to make a video, uh, what I'm saying is you can export this as a movie right here, but I've got a much better video on that, on uh, sending all your pictures to iMovie on the iPad and uh, check that out. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this uh, video, please hit the thumbs up. Also consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit the notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you're notified when new content is pushed out. Thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of the day.